Um, okay, so this explanation is about pseudo adulting. Um, I talked about this um, over lunch and my friends were laughing at me, but it's a thing. So pseudo adulting, it can happen for adult males, but it's like also adult females. It's very specific to America. So if you're over 18 and you're still living with your parents, you're pseudo adulting. If you're over 18 and you're a woman and you're like not engaged to the man that you're living with, you're pseudo adulting. Pseudo adulting is mooching off of someone else, right? So um, that's not the same as um, paying for rent in a share, like sharing a room in a house because you're paying for your room and board by and by working a job. So like if you are working a job and paying for your own room and board, you are not pseudo adulting, you're adulting, but you're just like uh, pro probably unmarried. If you're married and you're living with your significant other in, a, in an apartment or a home, then you are a married person. Um, coupling, as an adult, the reason why some people stay in bad relationships is because of adulting. You get in a relationship with someone who you can tolerate so that you can split the cost of bills and then have sex with them. That's what it is. So you can be in a straight relationship, you can be in a gay relationship, you can be in a poly relationship. The big idea here is though that the living space is shared between the people in the relationship. The food is like shared. So, you know, you guys have now a shared dinner budget for the month. You have a shared, you might be on a family plan, like a cellular data plan. You have shared housing. That's what it is. Pseudo adulting is what pseudo adulting is kind of when there's a moocher here. So like there's a girl, maybe she's not working. She's just living with her boyfriend and he is working. They're not married or anything, but she's like not doing anything. So then maybe that she breaks up with that guy and now she goes back home with her parents. So now she's living with her parents looking for another boyfriend so that she can be the stay at home girlfriend. She's just the girlfriend right they're not engaged or anything she is just the she's pseudo adulting that is huge in the bay area i think in other parts of the country people are just adulting so they're just in relationships living with their spouse the pseudo adulting it's like and that's how you can pseudo adult here and you can kind of ghost people because people are pseudo adulting quick like you might have like a side dude right and then all of a sudden you break up with your main dude he puts you out so now you have to call your side dude and go live with him because your main source of room and board has been cut off. And that's the reason why it's important for like women to value like their vagina a bit more because you, you can't have like a whole bunch, you can't just sleep with like everyone and then also expect them to, you, to be in a relationship with them for them to like cover your room and board if you're just sleeping with everyone. Like this isn't prostitution but it's pseudo adulting, it's different. So that's why like some guys who are full adults will be like, yeah, I'm gonna get a single apartment because I, you know, I'm ready to have a committed girlfriend now and I want her to be able to live here. The girlfriends are not expected to work because they are preparing to become wives and have children. So you really shouldn't get, you shouldn't be having sexual relationships with people, honestly, if you don't want to have their children. Like guys who are doing that to girls are, it's, that's not smart because like, you should just wait and have sex with the woman that you want to have your child. Because also you just have to realize that just because you, like there's two sides to this coin. On one side, you might like a girl, but she might not like you as much as you like her. Or a girl might like a guy, but not as much as the guy likes the girl. So the relationship is not gonna work. And so whoever has the plans of like, this is gonna be the mother of my child or my wife or something. If the girl doesn't want that with you, it ain't gonna happen. Like both people have to agree that like, yes, you are the one I want to be with. And he has to say, yes, you are the one I want to be with. Or it's the same thing about like, just because you're having sex with a woman and you guys aren't married, and the woman gets pregnant, she can go get an abortion, okay? Like, she has that right. So, like, that doesn't mean that that woman's gonna have your child. So all the, like, women out there who are tricking men into having babies, thinking they're gonna trap them down, or the 
men that who think they're gonna trap down a woman into having their babies, like that's not gonna happen. Like women can get abortions and then you do not have to be in that toxic relationship anymore. You now cut it off, you stop the relationship, you can stop the communication and that relationship is now a relationship of the past, a situationship of the past. Like Snow Allegra has a song called Situationship where she is describing like what is happening. It's a real thing and I think it really has to stop because like some men, y'all, some men, y'all are out here turning into fuckboys, but you're, what you're doing is you, you like, man, you, you fuckboy your way out of procreation because now every woman knows the way that you roll. And what do you think? Uh, women want that? Women are going to be like, oh yeah, I'm accepting of this. No, they're not going to feel that way. They feel like you're a fuckboy. So you should go where the other fuckboys go, right there in those tents. I'm like, they're right here. Here, let me show you. You see those tents right over there? That's where the fuck boys go. In five years, that's where those niggers end up. You know why? Because their parents say, what are you doing with your life? And they're like, oh, not at all. And maybe they have jobs. Some of them don't, though. They haven't even figured out how to work yet, so they don't have any income. They don't have any money. They haven't developed any good relationships, and they have an awful reputation. Welcome to life. <laughs>